two, one, let's go. One, two, three. Yeah. I honestly thought I was going to stack it on the on the six Murphy monster rovers and the three. I couldn't lift my legs up high enough. I was having to really concentrate on the jump. Oh. How much of a difference did it make using that taller box compared to yeah, usual? It's hard. To be fair, the snatch has got really heavy. I like snatches, so I was having to focus on moving well. <laughs> <laughs> that got rough. That was hard. Oh. Oi, oi, oi. Finish with a bang, finish with a bang. How? Good job. 256, happy with that? Happy with that. Had to sort my plates out a couple of times just because the clips. So maybe lost a few seconds, but it's Why fine. Use butter clips? I don't know, we had them at once. Ow! My quads. Oh, jeez. Good job, babe. Thanks, babe. That's it, quarter final's done. Done, done, done. Happy days. Yeah. One and done for all. One and done. Oh. <laughs> Haven't had this feeling in a while, you know, when your lungs and lactic acid in the back of the throat just, oh, it's like burning, I'm breathing, it's like my chest's on fire. Probably should have warmed up a little bit more, but yeah, those last three snatches were just, I was like, in my head, I was like, move well, move well, move well, because efficiency is the key in CrossFit and I was like if I'm fucking if I catch this wrong I'm going <laughs> and I was like right at the end I was like in my head it was like sprint the last three burpees but jumping with no power I thought I was gonna clip it so that was a good workout that's more my workout screw the engine get strong and try and be semi fast <laughs> no, good that was good. Yeah. Good work. I just wanted you to get under <coughs> three minutes. I was like, if you stop on these burpees, I'm going to go over and kick you. <laughs> yeah. In my head, when I saw that workout, I was like, I'm definitely going to touch and go the barbell for the first nine or something. But then warming up, I was just like, haven't done this, haven't done snatches since November. And I was like, doesn't feel that good. So just set every time, nice pull. Set every time, nice pull and just drop. And it still moved pretty fast. So good, good, good. Fun to end on a bang. Fun to end on a bang. Carl Cam, Carl Cam, Carl Cam. You got your sticker? All right, we promised it in the last video team, you know, especially for the people that are OGs to this channel. You, you all know that I started my CrossFit career here with no beard. Anyway, over that time, you've seen Faber change from, you know, cons constantly change. Whereas now Kieran's been working on it through lockdown and it's like, you know, opening tomorrow. And it looks sick. So I thought we'd give you like a little tour and there's a little secret, you know, there's a secret little room as well that you wouldn't expect to be in it. Oh, okay, goddamn. First and foremost, the outdoor training area. So. Obviously this has been kind of forced on us by COVID, so we have the outdoor space, but I kind of wanted to make sure we had rig space, lease space to do some kind of pull-ups and kind of and get you can be class. You can be under the thing even though it's raining. Yeah. Pretty cool! Pretty damn cool! So this is now the entrance way? Yeah, this is the, the way we come in. Those stairs felt like they went on forever, that did. No. <laughs> Obviously taking the greenery, green surroundings. Yeah, David Attenborough would be proud of this. Got your branded glass? Branded glass. Ooh. Getting all fish. You fancy, huh? We've got the coach's area. So just kind of a little bit of mesh area so we can get on to work. Just wait for the stools here for the hot desks. Oh, graphics. Oh, we are here because we know the outcomes of our lives are within our control. Yeah, yeah. I dragged Jazz here, so that isn't true. Yeah, definitely didn't steal that from Bergeron, but <laughs> thank you, Bergeron. Now, nah, this should be eat, sleep, train, repeat. Repeat. 
eat chicken and rice and broccoli <laughs> seven days a week. We need to take that other quote down. <laughs> Now I wanted this to be like a kind of entrance into the like main arena type thing, so kind of. It's only missing a. It's missing a slide. It needs a slide. That that would be an entrance. Inspection. So I need to be hit the arena as you walk in. Obviously, huge rig. Um, the main floor space. Look at that. You got new plates, new bars. New plates, new bars, new dumbbells, new bikes. Oh yeah. A lot of room in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. there's room for activities. This is what people have seen before, kind of. But now it's all changed, ready for this? Yeah, so for the real old geez, this is where it all started, wasn't it? Yeah, this is, oh, this was the back, yeah. Yeah, this was, this was CrossFit favourite, just the back room. I remember the snatches they used to do in here in the cleans. <laughs> there's a little wobbly old platform there. And then the arches used to be open. So this is going to be the fitness room. More kind of like conditioning classes, general fitness style classes. Yeah, and you got the lights that change colour. We have the lights that change. What colour do you want? Red. Oh. 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 Me want my dad. Oh. 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 space. Oh. 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 space. PT space. Obviously drying our COVID rags, that's always what you've got to do in your PT space. So yeah, we, we wait for a little bit more kit in here. Um, this used to just be the entrance with a random sofa in it. Yeah, yeah, and the plant pot. Yeah, yeah. remember that, yeah. Carla, you don't need therapy. You don't need therapy out. Get out. So yeah, with the skeleton and the mask, that cracks me up every time. Yeah, and then this is like the secret room, isn't it? Oh, the secret room, yeah. It's different. See if I get it in one. Yes. Now this is Favourite Swim, newly named Favourite Swim, so uh, we used to have an existing swim business here and um, due to Covid and a few different things we decided to try and take it on, so this is the swim space. So again, go with all the branding coming through. Yeah. So again, all just getting prepped, but see the pool in there. It's warm too. Yeah, it's so warm. Maybe so basically what this is, it has a current, doesn't it? Yeah. And you just swim against it. It's actually pretty hard not to jump in. Yeah. I really fancy just getting in. It's an endless... Endless pool system. So yeah, we've got the endless slipstream jet, so you swim against this current. Um, so I think it was originally designed for triathlon. Hold on. Yep. Well done, we're clean, we're yep. clean. So yeah, kind of two kids in here with a coach and it's just the best way to learn swim. Do you know, they're maximising their swim time, which obviously means they have to spend less time in the pool. And it's such a, I mean, compared to those swimming bass days where you've got screaming kids and everything by the pool we've got. It's so that's cool. Oh yeah. Pretty cool, pretty damn cool. <laughs> if you've been here, if you've been here from the OG status or you've just joined, I wanted to show off Faber because it's kind of been like my home. You know, it's where I started my CrossFit career. It will always be that special place and I'm super proud of Kieran for like making it and turning it into this, you know, it's epic now. I mean, it's the only CrossFit gym that I've visited or ever known to have a pool in it. I mean, yeah, it's not technically a pool, but it's an infinity pool. It's the same kind of thing, you know? Feel me? Anyway, funnily enough, that last workout was my best workout. Uh, 115th in Europe. After the quarterfinals, 381st in Europe overall. That's with a sandbagged workout of test two. I could have done a lot more reps, but um, I just didn't want to. My abs are even sore right now, and I, and I went at like 50% GHDs. And with the strength, came up pretty well on that, 169th. And then my fitness is kind of where I knew it would be, you know, it's not anywhere where I want it to be and because of lockdown. You know, I'm happy with 420th on the first test, 576 on that Roman Warble one. I'll take it. Didn't end myself on anything, but I feel like I, I did well. It's like a raised print. Look at this team. If you want to get one of these, um, Hustle Made launched this Thursday, 12 p.m. British summertime. Don't miss it. And as always, thank you for all your continued support. If no one has told you today that you're a legend, uh, I'm going to do it right now. You're a freaking legend. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And I hope this episode brought a little bit of brightness to your day. <laughs>